Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you part three of my giant Goodwill outlet bins haul from last week. This part will be all the Christmas that I found, which was mostly vintage and a few more modern pieces that I like to use. If you like this kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. <music> Okay, so I'm going to get right into this haul. There's a lot. I'm gonna do friend mail this coming week. I thought I was gonna do it with these hauls, but I had so much that there's just not time and I don't want my videos to get too long because then I get a lot of thumbs down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into this. Um, I'm gonna start with all the Christmas balls that I got. I got a ton of Christmas balls, which I love. They're not all like shiny brights, but I also use them in crafting. So I try to pick them up when I see them. So I got a bunch of red ones and oops, these are kind of a mix. There's some that look older and then there's some that look not as old. There's these that look older and then there's these that don't. But I will use both of them in um, crafting because usually when I craft with them, if I'm putting them in wreaths or things like they look like that and then you can't even see that but it doesn't bother me anyway and then I got a bunch I'm not gonna hold the box up because it has other stuff in it but I got a bunch of these and these say Roush or Roush I don't know green ones and I got four eight ten twelve of these okay then I got two boxes almost two complete boxes of pinks and blues and I'm going to put these I don't know if you remember but I found a while back a pink milk glass footed bowl that I keep in my craft room um, and I'm gonna fill that bowl with these ornaments for Christmas time so I got two of those boxes okay then I got these glass they're not nine ornaments um, but they are so cute they're Disney And so there's Pooh Bear ones, Winnie the Pooh. And there's one, two, three, four, five Winnie the Pooh ones and two Mickey ones. Those are so cute. And they're in their original box, but the box is pretty messed up. It says Wonderful World of, I know it says Wonderful World of Disney on the box, but it's all duct taped. I may try to get that off so I can at least see the box, but. Okay, then I got more pink Kobe ones. Whole box of those. And I got these, they're blue. And these I'm actually probably going to use for a 4th of July wreath, similar to the one, you can go there. Similar to the wreath that I made for Halloween, I'm collecting red and blue ones um, so that I can make a similar wreath for 4th of July. And these have holly on them, but I don't think that will matter because they go in the wreath like this. So you're not really gonna see that. So it looks like uh, firecrackers or something. So. so I got five of those and I've just been picking them up as I find them so that I can have them to make wreaths for the other holidays. Okay, I'm gonna insert footage here of one larger item that I got. So I got this vintage snowman blow mold. Just adorable, I absolutely love it. On the bottom it says Union Plastics Incorporated and it was only 49 cents because it has a cord. Okay, so that's my blow mold, which I absolutely adore. Let's move on to some Christmas ornaments. So I found a whole set of these. I don't know. It looks like they're meant to be ornaments, but none, they don't have their strings anymore, but they do have holes in their hats. But they're these little like elves and there's a ton of them. Well, not a ton, but there's like eight. Um, they're made from pine cones and they say they're stamped Japan. There's these, this one, and this one. And then there's um, some that aren't pine cones. So, so there was four pine cone ones and then four non pine cone ones. These are so cute. I'm just gonna see if I can hold them all up. And they're like a little band. 
And I guess these were shaped into instruments. I'll have to try to bend them back. She's got like a fiddle or cello. I don't know. And then she has like cymbals, or I guess it's an accordion. And again, they're all stamped Japan. So I don't know what I'll do with them. Maybe put them in an assemblage, but they were cute and they were all in a bag together. So, and then also in that same bag, I got this little nativity, teeny tiny. That's gonna go in an, in a craft, either a tea tin craft or, you know, like a spice tin craft or some sort of assemblage. And then I got these two ornaments, which were in the same bag. So there's a little stocking with a bell and there's this little Santa. And this one looks hand done. Okay. Then I got this ornament. My friend Amy found this for me. It was in a bag all by itself. Someone made it. And I don't know, it looks like maybe you're, oh, you can stand it up with those pin legs. So I thought that was really cute. And here's the back. Really pretty. So just one of those. That does it on the ornaments. Then some other little crafting items. I found this bag of deer. They're really cute. And these are gonna be great for my crafting, for my um, little spice tin ornaments I'm gonna do, or my assemblage, actually. A deer? Yeah, I think it's a deer. I don't know. These are so cute. So there's two of those. There's a big, there's a buck. And some, a clear buck. So there's these like clear ones. And then, oh, there's a little fawn. Oh, this is sweet. I didn't even see him in there. Little baby. And then um, one of these. So those are going to be great for crafting. Okay. Also for crafting, I found this bag of puff balls. And some old wrapping paper. So I got these bottle brush trees. I think they were originally for a village. I may or may not use them in that way. I might craft with them. I haven't decided yet. And I actually don't know if they work or not yet. Um, but you know, at the bins, anything with a battery is 49 cents. So it doesn't really matter to me. They're a good size for the price. And then I got two packages of new trees. This one's a little smushed, but that's okay. If I'm crafting with it, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then I grabbed this string of lights um, because it has two of these bubble lights, which are fun in crafts. This one doesn't have its liquid anymore, but this one does. And again, this was 49 cents, so 49 cents for two bubble lights. And then it has some of the old bulbs. And so those can be fun for crafting too. And then it has this cool one, which I've never seen before. So I'm gonna use these not for the lights, but for the bulbs and things that it came with. Okay, I got this for crafting. I'm probably not gonna keep this together. I got it for the bell. And then I haven't decided yet if I'll use these or just keep them on the card in a display. Got some old jingle bells. I'm probably gonna keep these on the card because they're just cool like that. I, don't, I haven't decided yet, but. Okay. Then I also got some ribbon, which you know, I don't necessarily use the ribbon. Sometimes I like to keep it stacked in a display and you can prop up things in your displays using ribbon rolls. So, spools, is that what they're called? Ooh, my nose is starting to run. It's only 36 degrees out, so it's a little chilly. Actually, it's 34 degrees and my hands are getting cold. Can you tell? Um, but anyway, these are good for propping things up in displays. So we'll see what I do with that. Okay. That was it for crafting. Now let's move on to like dishes and glasses. So I found some really cute Christmas dishes. 
So this is a Lefton little dish, Lefton China, the holly and berry print. So I thought that was really pretty. Then I found this left in plate. I love this one. And these I'll put in my hutch to display for the season. And oops, I found this one. This says Royal Anne, Minneapolis. And then I found this one, which says left in also, hand painted. This one's really pretty because like it's textured. It's, ra it's a raised pattern and then it's painted. So that's kind of cool. I only found three of these, but I adore them. They're Christmas glasses. And because they're, they actually didn't start out this color, but because they've faded, they look, they're just really cool colors now. I really like the colors. So they say Merry Christmas and they have these funky trees. So I'll keep my eye out for a fourth one. That would be fun to find, but we're going to use these as glassware. Pretty fun. And there's no marking on them. I found this, which is the Pioneer Woman, so it's not vintage, but it's just cute. I like to put like little things like this on the counter with candies for the kids to grab. So kids, my hubby, me. <laughs> okay. Then let's move on to oh, just some random stuff. Oh, I got some village accessories. I got a little skating pond and I found this little kid fighting with the donkey, but he was cute. So cute. And I found this pin. I was storing a lot of the things in it. And it says 1986 Santa Bear, Santa Bear cookies. So that was so cute. I might put puppy treats in there. I don't know. I know it's, it's not a puppy paw, but it sort of reminds me of puppies. So I might put their treats in there on top of the fridge for the season. They get one treat every night around nine o'clock and they know when it's nine o'clock. I don't know how they know, but they bark. So <laughs> every night, nine o'clock, they're getting a treat. So I found these two little sacks, which I can use for gifts. This one. And then I found this, which is not technically Christmas, but the box is so Christmassy looking that I'm going to use it in Christmas. It's Bloxo, and it's actually a game. It says, a fascinating game for all ages made by the makers of Puzzle Peg, Lovers and Bell, Clinton, Iowa. Copyright 1923. And the game is in here. It's really dirty. And I don't know how to play the game. I would have to look it up online. But I'm not going to use it for that. But maybe I'll take, maybe I will take this out, clean it up, put this with my vintage toys. That's a good idea because I do a whole display of vintage toys. And then use the box separately in a display. So then I get like two things for the price of one. So that's kind of cool. Okay, I found this. This is not vintage, but I think it's so pretty. And this is going to go in the craft room the right colors or it, it could also go in my family room it's also the right colors for there I don't know but I just thought it was really pretty and it's in a really nice frame it says Merck family's old world Christmas old world Christmas traditions to cherish I love this so so pretty okay and then I found this this was 49 cents I'm going to update the ribbon because this is kind of like what I used to do back in the early 2000s. So I'm probably going to put red and black check ribbon, buffalo check ribbon. Um, and I don't know if it works. I have to plug it in and try, but I think it's cute. It has like a little snowman in there. And for 49 cents, even if it doesn't work, I could probably replace the candle. So, so that was 49 cents. Found this little ball which I will take the potpourri out and fill it with something else. Maybe like some vintage ornaments. Maybe I'll paint this. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but I thought, ah, so cheap. Okay, now let's move on to some of my favorite goodies. I found him and oh, this was funny. So I told you they were switching the bins like every 30 to 
uh, 30, 45 minutes. And so it was a bin switching time. And I don't generally go and line up with the people because you get bulldozed. Like it's really intense when, when they do it. Um, so I usually stand back, but this, this one time I decided, oh, so I'll just go and, you know, try it out. And so, and then they give the all clear and they're like, okay, go. And everyone starts digging and it's like, they're throwing stuff. And I snatched him right off the top, right? But he was sure to get crushed. Like I got him out like a millisecond before he was going to get smushed because someone threw this heavy lamp in my direction. And like, I got him out just before he got crushed. So I think he's so cute. There was no other. I did. I looked and looked and I went back to that bin and I just did not find another one, but he's a salt shaker, but that doesn't matter. I'll probably use him in a display or in some kind of assemblage. I think he's really cute. So, and he has a sticker, oh, not a sticker, a stamp. It says Japan. He's got some paint loss, but you know, that never matters to me. So, so that's my little Santa. Okay. And then I have a treasure trove here. Okay. I got a bunch, a bunch of cookie cutters, tons. I'm not even going to show them all to you, but they're this kind. And if you saw one of my vlogs, I made Halloween cookies with this kind of cookie cutter and I am converted. I love these. Like so if you if you cut your cookies out with this it makes a stamp on the cookie and then you put some of the colored sugar and then you kind of brush the excess away and the sugar stays in all the little grooves and they just look so cute once you bake them so I was really happy to find all these these clear ones say ham made in USA I don't know if you can read that but it's like a little crown almost and this is made in USA so I have probably about a dozen of those and then I found some more of these. Actually, Amy found these. And so I picked, she picked up some and I picked up some. And this was fun to find because you don't find green ones very often. And I like to store them in a clear jar so you can see them when you're not using them because they're just fun like that. And these are Hallmark brand, originally 50 cents. So, so I got a bunch of those. Okay. I got this. Oh my gosh. I love this. It's a tree topper. And my husband and I decided we're going to put a small tree in our bedroom with all vintagey ornaments on it. And this is going to be the tree topper for it. I think it's so, so cute. My goodness. I love it. And this is what the back looks like. So it's just foil. And one of them was broken. So I'll probably try to like attach that somehow. I don't know how, but but I just think he's really cute. Okay. I found this package of unopened card hangers. That was so cute. It comes with a little line and then little clips and you can clip cards to it. So I thought those were cute. I found vintage greens. I love these, these candle rings. I think they're fantastic. Look at all of these one nothing has a pair they're all like individuals but that's fine they'll be useful in crafting that one oh my gosh I love the one with the bells it's so cute that one and then I also found this one and so this holds I guess a candle in it okay and then I got this which I don't really know what this is for I just thought it was cute you think you put like a candle, maybe? I could get one of those tall candles in a glass thing from the Dollar Tree, you know what I'm talking about? That would be cute. That would definitely fit in there. It's not that big, I don't know if you, you can't really tell, but it's not, it's not that wide. So, but I think one of those candles would definitely fit. I thought that was cute. Then, this is a kind of a unicorn for me. I have never seen these. I only see them on Miss Stone Holmes channel. I've never seen them in a thrift store or out in the wild at a yard sale, nowhere, never, never. So I love these. They're the light covers and these are going on. on I saw a wreath at Michael's that I'm gonna try to recreate. I'm gonna use these on it. It's gonna be so cute. I'm so pumped. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. It's gonna be adorable. It's not adorable. It will be adorable though. <laughs> so there's that. I got two blue, oh, three blue ones, a red one. A yellow or orange I don't know 
and a green. And these were in the same bin as that Santa salt shaker. I went back to that bin so many times to try to see if I could find others. I did not. And I didn't find another salt shaker, but I feel content that I looked. I got a little bell, a little vintagey looking bell, the old style pipe cleaner on it. And I got some more of that tie tie satin tone ribbon. Okay. Then I also found these were cute. It's a little pack of matches and has its lid. You can kind of see them. I think this will be a great on a little tiered tray. It's so cute. And there you strike them on the bottom. I thought that was really cute. And I got these, which I'm not super into snowmen, but I like the colors and I think they'll look really cute in the craft room because of the pink. So I'm going to set these somewhere in a display in the craft room. Okay. Then all of these things are in something that isn't Christmas, but it's adorable. I love it. I'm going to show it to you in this haul. So I found the bottom of this tin and I did not see the top, didn't see the top. And like two hours later, I was in a different bin and found the top, but I hadn't taken this with me because I was like, oh, there's no lid. So then I had to go back and find the bottom and I did. I was so happy. So it's good housekeeping. So cute. So useful. And when I get the vintage Christmas stuff out, I'm going to use it to store um, craft stuff or to, maybe I'll use it in a display in the spring but for now I'll use it to store craft stuff but I think it's adorable it has little tulips all over it so okay then this is not vintage but I thought it was really pretty and I'm gonna add a bow to it and that's all I'm gonna do to it it'll look great in my decor and found this. I thought it was cute. It says Adam, but I can turn it around and put some vintagey looking greenery in here and it'll make a cute display. doesn't matter that it says Adam. And then I found two tin, well a tin, another tin. This was really cute. Look at the side of that. Isn't that adorable? And oh my goodness, I love this. This might be my favorite thing. I love it. Holy cow. It's so cute. It says, Merry Cheers to you. Love that. Okay. And then last two items. These are so cute. They're in their packages. I'm not going to take them out yet. They're little carolers. And I think, well, maybe I'll take them out. Sure, why not? Oh my goodness. They're so cute. So here's the boy. And his little thing is broken, but it doesn't matter to me. And then there's the girl. And I can always fix that with clay. Like I use some polymer clay if I want. Or I might not. Isn't she so cute? Oh my gosh. I love these. So, okay. So that's all that I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I found at the bins to add to my Christmas decor. This wraps up this giant uh, Goodwill outlet bins haul and stay tuned this week for another Goodwill bins haul and more thrift hauls and some Christmas DIYs. I will see you in the next video and thank you for watching. Take care.